one of the signs of our modern culture is vulgarity. There's a lot of vulgarity out there. And people have lost a sense of beauty. And for me, religion is a beautiful thing. There's a lot of ugly religion out there, but it's not really religion. It's the failure of religion. Uh, the prophets were beautiful people. They were physically beautiful, but they were also deeply spiritual and they cared about people. They cared about the poor people. Most of their followers were poor people. Uh, most of their followers were disenfranchised people. Uh, among the slaves, the early Christians were all very weak and poor people. They weren't from the aristocrats and the elevated classes. And that, that's where religion uh, traditionally thrived. And religion tends to be a source of renewal uh, for people. When you look out there, you see a lot of nihilism and relativism and atheism and all these things. If, if you know history, you know that history has its ebbs and flows. It, 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 it has its uh, valleys and, and peaks. And this is a difficult time for religion generally, but it's also a good time because hedonism does not sustain people. Uh, people will never be satiated by the world uh, we have a tradition of Jesus in the Muslim tradition that says that um, that those who seek the world are like those who drink uh, salt water. It just makes them thirstier and thirstier. It never quenches them. Uh, one of our great mystics said, Everything you desire is there with God. And I think this is what we need to remind people about, that uh, come, come again, like Rumi says. The gospel says, come all you who are suffering, and you'll find solace. And people are suffering out there. There's a lot of suffering going on. Um, Marx is noted for saying that religion's the opiate of the masses, but he didn't actually say that. What he said was that religion is the sigh of the oppressed. It's the heart of a heartless world. It's the opiate of the masses. In other words, it numbs their pain because the world is a painful place. It was designed in many ways to be a painful place because it's not our abode. We're actually aliens here. We, we're, 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 we're not meant to really ever be comfortable here, which is why we get things like bone spurs, just to remind us that uh, the body, a toothache comes, an eye ache. Uh, we get all these pains because God really does not want us to be comfortable here. And so just give up this pursuit of comfort because it's just, it is a, a, a pursuit that you will never arrive at. You'll never achieve it. And, and, and so instead of religion now, they give people real opium to numb their pain. They used to have religion, but now we have a nation of people that are seeking to alleviate their pain through real opium. And opium is a great, blessing to remove pain in surgery and things like that. I actually once had fentanyl and had a spiritual experience on that drug. I, I didn't, it wasn't a street drug. I broke my arm and they gave it to me in the hospital. But the point being is that we really need to restore the beauty of religion and remind people that it's a beautiful thing. It's not an ugly thing. And I think the Graduate Theological Union is an incredible example of all of these great face of humanity on this holy hill. And it really is a holy hill because we're showing the world that we can live together, we can support each other, we can be part of a family uh, of religions. This was Gandhi attempted to hold India together because he wanted to see a nation where Christians and Muslims and Hindus uh, and, and, and Buddhists could live together uh, and, and not fight. But our enemy is ignorance and that's why uh, our, our savior is knowledge mm. and, um, and the problem with ignorance is you can remove ignorance but when it has a strategic alliance with stupidity uh, it often becomes a really difficult thing to deal with so we've got a lot of stupid uh, religion out there and stupid um, I mean we all do stupid things to humble us but unfortunately some people it becomes a, a bad habit uh, doing stupid things. So uh, this is a great blessing uh, just to be up here. 
especially on this beautiful day. And I just thank all of you uh, for the support that you're showing just by being here. And I really hope that um, we can live up to the aspirations of our community uh, to uh, making this place uh, a real place of learning and a place of beauty and a place of, of um, tradition. You know, tradition, uh, the best of what the past uh, has left for us, conserving the best of the past and uh, grappling with the problems of tradition that each generation has. And just in conclusion, I just want to remind all of us, those of us who are uh, Muslims, the, uh, the thing I've always told people at Zaytun is don't make any claims. Uh, one of the things about claims, the worst thing about claims is that we have a qa'idah that Sidi Ahmed Zarruq said, if you claim something that's actually yours, uh, God will remove it from you because you claimed it. If you claim something that's above your rank, he'll expose you with scandals. Um, so always claim something less than, 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 than what you have, and he'll elevate you to a higher station. And we have a great, the 11th hikmah of Ibn Atayillah, he said, Adfin wujudaka fi ard al khumul, fama nabata mimma lam yudfan, la yitumunitajuhu. Bury your existence in the earth of obscurity because nothing will grow that hasn't been buried and the fruit will not be complete. So let's just stay as humble as we can. Uh, and humility is a beautiful English word that comes from the Greek humus, which is the, the soil of the earth. The Prophet said, he said that all of you are from Adam and Eve and Adam and 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 they're from earth Torah and then he said, there's no preference of an Arab over an un-Arab or a black over a white or a white over a black, except in piety. So may God give us piety. May he bless this place. May he bless all of you. May he bless our country and, and uh, restore us to, uh, to sanity and uh, to intelligence. May he give wisdom to the people that are put in positions of power over us. And may he guide our, uh, our municipalities and our mayors and and our police force, and, and may he forgive us our transgressions and, and our, our wrongs. And may he bring uh, peace and sanity to places where there's war and, and insanity.